What's up, good? Soon enough, you'll be in prison where you belong. I was shot. Yeah, you were. And the DA realized you deserved it. So she has decided not to pursue charges against Erica. Erica must be very relieved. Deep down, I knew that David would probably wake up. How do you feel about it? I don't know. I mean, I wanted him to suffer, to pay for Zach. But I just wish I could get him out of my head. Well, you will. You will, now that Mom's cleared and, and David's not just lying there. Yeah, but it, it feels like there's... Something is unfinished. Then finish it, Kendall. OK, figure out what it is. Talk to someone. I will. I'll talk to someone. You promise? I promise. OK, OK. Now, you, you need some rest. Mm. I will make up the sofa. Uh, thank you very much, but you, uh, you, you don't have to do that. I'm, I'm going to sleep in my own bed. Yeah? Yeah. I've been up every night thinking about Zach, the, the things I, I wished I had said and done. But I'm not going to do that anymore. You and Mom and Dr. Castillo said that <laughs> Zach would want me to take care of myself. So it's time I start to do that. Nothing more to say? Just trying to figure out what's going on. Well, what's going on is it's over for you. Hey, he's not supposed to have any visitors. Hey, I'm not a visitor. I'm the chief of police, and I need to question your patient. Well, Dr. Hayward needs to rest. Dr. Hayward can rest the next time he dies. He barely knows where he is. Trust me, he knows where he is. Do not underestimate the good doctor, especially when he's trying to save his ass from going to prison. Right. I'm not there yet. You really need to rest. He's not up for an interrogation right now. Well, as soon as he is, find me. I'll be around. And just in case he gets any crazy ideas. But you think he's going to bolt out of bed and jump out the window with his bed sheets? I think I'm not going to take any chances. How's that? Well, what if I have to take him in for tests? Find me. I'll be right here. Jesse's in there with him. David could be accusing Kendall right this minute. No, I don't think so. It wouldn't take this long. Well, I know David. I mean, he's not going to just let it go. David's awake. I heard. What are you doing here? I guess I just had to... Let David know that the charges are dropped. I guess I just had to let him know that he lost. So what did he say to you? Well, he was very weak. He was very disoriented. It was very hard to say. He can't hurt us. Not anymore. Not you. Not Greenlee. Not any of us. We won't let that happen. OK. Then I'm going to go find Kendall, and I'm going to go tell her what happened. Are you sure that's a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. I don't want her to hear from somebody else. No, I'm the one. I need to be the one to tell her. Kayla, I'd like a word with you. Who knows what Hayward might be capable of? This relationship he has with Liza, it's, uh, well, it's kind of an unknown. You think he might be pushing to get the charges reinstated against Erica? I don't think anything's possible. If that happens, you know, Erica's going to need a lawyer. You don't even have to ask. Where's Kendall? She's asleep. I need to see her right away. No, no, don't, don't wake her. David has come out of his coma. She has to know this. She does. She does know. 
Well, how did she react? She was uh, a little bit confused at first, but then she thought she'd feel better if she got some sleep. Well, I, I hope she's right. This is the, the first night since Zach died that she's sleeping in her bed oh. instead of the couch. This is a huge step. Yes, it is. It certainly is. It's good. I want her to sleep. I want her to stay away from David. I want her to stay as far away as possible from that man. to see you.